resume the session. So let's discuss about the differential backups. Okay, let's discuss about the differential backup. Full backup is completed, right? We'll discuss about the differential backup. So what is this differential backup? When we are going to take the differential backup? Okay, in what scenario we'll take the differential backup? How much time generate will take to take the differential backup? So we'll discuss, guys. So differential backup means, listen carefully, differential backup means it will take the backup of all the changes since since last full backup listen carefully every word is very important what differential backup will do it will take the backup of all the changes differential backup will take the backup of all the changes since the last full backup guys differential backup will take the backup of all the changes since the last full backup so what it means i'll show you okay so i'll i'll, I'll explain you with the example guys you'll get an idea images So this one I need. Okay, so you can see here. Let me okay. This is fine now. Your mind, huh? please look at hmm. Okay, fine. So let me go to this side and this one. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Fine. So you can see here this is what actually differential backup will do. Okay, let me explain. You will get an idea, guys. Uh, windows R snipping tool snipping windows snipping snipping tool okay chalo okay so now this is my differential backup how it will work I'll explain okay hmm. so if you see here if you see here guys okay what we discussed the differential backup means it will take the backup of all the changes not all the data full backup will take the backup of the whole database full backup will take the backup of the whole database including your data files and log files whereas differential backup will take the backup of only changes the two since last full backup only changes since last full backup see imagine at 7 o'clock, we have one record in the database. Imagine, 7 o'clock in the morning, we have one record in the database, guys. Okay? So, now at 10 o'clock, you took the full backup. How many records are there? That many records only it will cover in that full backup, right? Till now, it's clear, everyone. How many records are there in my database? When you took the full backup, it will take the backup of all those records, right? By 10 a.m., I have only one record in my database, so it took the backup of that one record. Now, at 1 p.m., someone added three records. 
two, three, four records they have added at a, at a one p.m. They have added two, three, four records, guys. They have added two, three, four records. Now you took the differential backup at two p.m. You took the differential backup at two p.m. Now what backups? What records it is going to cover under two? 2 pm differential backup in the 2 pm differential backup what and all records it is going to take the backup sir 2 3 4 sir why 2 3 4 why not 1 2 3 4 because uh, as per that backup uh, of the changes because, yeah. because, because one one oh, is already in full backup right yes as discussed as per the differential backup definition differential backup will always take the backup of the changes since last full backup when is the last full backup happened at 10 o'clock from this 10 o'clock to till 2 pm till 2 pm in this range whatever changes are there two three four records are added it took the backup of only these three records is it clear everyone guys is this clear yes yes sir now at 4 pm at 4 pm two records are added five and six records are added at 4 pm at 4 pm two records are added Now again, you took the backup at 6 p.m. Now tell me how many records it's going to take the backup? Is it as five and six, or it is two, three, four, five, six? Tell me, guys. At 6 p.m. So, again, you, you took the two, backup two, of two to six because there is no full backup after uh, four p.m. Why not five and six? I told you right. It will do the backup of the change. That's what so, two, three, four, five, six are. It will depends upon like uh, previous backup, previous full yeah, backup. Yeah, previous full backup. There is no full backup after. Uh, so as days. per the differential backup definition, again I am saying it will take the backup of the changes since last full backup. Again, it will take the differential backup since 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Not 2 to 6 guys. Since last full backup, whenever you trigger the differential backup, it will take the backup since last full backup. It will take the backup since last full backup. So when last full backup happens, guys, at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock to 6 p.m., how many changes are there? Two, three, four, five, six records are added, right? So it took the backup of two, three, four, five, six records. Is it clear, guys? Any questions? Any doubts here, please? So whenever you trigger the full differential backup, it will take the backup of all the changes since last full backup. Always the base is last full backup for differential backup. Always the base is last full backup. Is it clear, everyone? Any questions, please? Any questions? So, anyone? how many times per day this? I'll tell you. Backup? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. There is a backup strategy. Important entry question. I'll tell you what to answer. What is your backup strategy? How many times a day a differential backup will run? How many times a day log backup will run? I'll tell you. So is this clear, guys? Till now, why two, three, four, five, six records came at six p.m. differential backup? Everyone, is it clear? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Done. Okay. So now at eight p.m. again seven eight records are added. Seventh record and eighth record is added at eight p.m. So now when you took full backup at ten p.m. Now night at ten p.m. I took full backup. Full backup means you know right all the records will be covered. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever records are there till ten p.m. It is going to take the backup. Now I have a quick question for all of you. Listen carefully. Okay, listen carefully. So now my database size is two terabytes. I just initiated my backup at ten a.m. It took two hours. Imagine twelve twelve p.m. It took. Now at ten eleven fifty nine fifty nine seconds at eleven fifty nine minutes fifty nine seconds one record inserted. One record inserted into the same database. Currently database backup is going on. So now at eleven fifty nine at fifty nine seconds one record inserted in the database. Now tell me. Don't tell your answers. Okay, just type your answers in the chat. Direct to me. Send your set the status to direct to me and tell me your answer whether this record is part of the current full backup or not. If it is part of current full backup, your answer is yes. If it is not part of current full backup, just your answer is no. Yes, guys, I am waiting. Already people started answering. Don't tell your answer. Just type your answers in the chat. Repeat the question again, please. Simple. At ten o'clock, I just started the backup. Imagine it is going to be completed by twelve o'clock. 
now at 11:59 at 11:59 minutes 59 seconds one record is inserted in the database on the same zomato database so now that new record is part of current full backup or not that is my question is it clear Twenty two, twenty three, twenty three people, twenty four people answered till now. Twenty five guys, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Okay, let me check the answer. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, we have mixed answers. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Give it, give it, give it. No, yes, 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 no, 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 yes, 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 no, yes. To ask options to take the backup or not, Tamkin, don't ask any options like that. No, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, no. You need to select the option full or not, Ravikiran, no. Okay, fine. So the answer is yes, guys. Okay, the answer is yes. So till the backup is going to be completed, till the backup is going to be complete, please be muted. Please be muted. Okay. Till the backup is going to be completed, whatever transactions are coming inside the database, your full backup will take the backup of all those transactions, guys. Okay, till the backup is going to be completed by 12 o'clock, right? It is going to be completed. 11.59 minutes, 59 seconds, right? One transaction came. So this transaction is part of that current full backup, guys. This transaction is part of the current full backup. Once the transaction is completed, if any new, tra once this backup is completed at 12 p.m., at, imagine at 12.01, at 12.01, one record is came. By that time, already backup completed, right? So the transaction is, in case if the backup is completed, those transactions are not part of the full backup. But during full backup, if any transactions are coming inside the database, all those transactions are part of the current full backup. Okay, all those transactions are part until you are going to complete the full backup. Whatever transactions are coming inside the database, all the transactions are part of the current full backup, guys. Right? Fine. So here, as per the diagram, okay, so you took the full backup at 10 o'clock. So whatever records are there till the beginning, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, at 10, at 10 p.m. whatever records are there, it will take the backup. Why? Because this is a full backup, not differential backup, guys. At 10 p.m. you took the full backup. So now you can see at 10 p.m. it took the backup of all the records. Again at 11 p.m. two more records are added, 9th 9 record and 10th record. So now at 2 a.m., 2 a.m. you took the differential backup. Now tell me how many records you will get it in the differential backup, guys. Two, sir. I need your answers. Nine, Nine and ten. Two two records. Nine and ten. I need your answers, guys. So again at 2 a.m. you took the differential backup. So how many transactions are part of, how many records are part of that current differential backup? If you want, you can Whatever change your answer. Whatever new records have added, that will huh. take different. So we new records are added from this 10 a.m right so all the records are part means three four five six seven eight nine no, no, no. from the last backup from the last full backup we have to take so again guys again i'm saying so differential backup always depends on the last full backup last full backup at 10 p.m we have okay uh, full backup at 10 p.m so after this last full backup, we have two records are added. Only these two records are part of the current differential backup. Any questions, any doubts, let me know. No issues. Always, whenever differential backup is running, it will take the backup of the changes since last full backup. So you cannot track it from 10 a.m. Why? Because in between, oh my God, one minute guys, one minute.